Hey everybody, this is Tim Rohrer from Rohrer Music Studios and today I wanted to show you a little bit about working with Finale and how to enter music really quickly to get a nice final product. So the first thing uh, that we've got is our Finale window open. I'm currently using Finale 2014. I'm just going to go to our setup wizard which is right here. So this first screen, we're going to kind of ignore some of the settings here uh, just for the moment. Uh, so go ahead and click on Next, and we now need to pick an instrument. So I'm going to go to Keyboards, and this is a list of different possible instrument uh, areas that we can choose from. So if I wanted voices or brass or woodwind or strings, we're going to go to Keyboard, though, and select Piano. We can hit Add, but I like to double-click it because it's just a little quicker. And let's hit Next. This is where you can add titles and composers and so forth. So let's go ahead and enter the name of the song that we're going to be uh, transcribing today. So we're going to be transcribing today a uh, free arrangement of We Three Kings of Orientar. You can find the link for this in the description. Right, so I've got everything entered in now and I'm going to go ahead and click on Next. And this is where we can specify time signatures and key signatures. Our piece's time signature is 3-4, so let's select that. Our piece is in the key of A minor, which is the relative minor of C major. So we can leave this as it is, or if we really wanted to, we can say that this is in A minor like that by changing it to a minor key. We don't need to specify an initial tempo or a pickup measure, so let's go ahead and hit Finish. It usually takes a second for it to, to pull up the file, but here it is. And I especially wanted to show you uh, how we use the keystrokes to be able to enter notes. Usually the selection tool is the default tool, but we want to start entering notes. So we're going to go and we're going to find this half note. So that's our first note in the right hand. As you noticed, it put a little icon right in this first measure here. And this shows you that if, as you start hitting keys on the keyboard, it can actually start putting notes there. And let me show you really fast how you would do this with a mouth. So our first note is an E, and I've got a half note here. So I've clicked on that half note, and I'm going to put it on the half note space for, on the space for E. And our next note's a quarter note. So I'll click on that and put it right after the next note. There we go. Then we have a half note, and so I can put that right after that note, and a quarter note for the A. You can get all the notes in there this way, but you can actually get them much faster by using keystrokes. So one keystroke that we can use is the right arrow, which moves us to the next measure. It can also move us back and forth. And if I want to move quickly through a series of many notes, what I can do is I can hit Control and the right arrow, and it'll actually move me forward measures. So I can move back and forth between these measures pretty quickly and easily. So now I'm on the next measure. Finale is set up to use the number pad on the keyboard as shortcuts for the note lengths. Our note length is currently selected as a quarter note. So I'm going to go ahead and I, on the keyboard, I'm going to hit B, and then C and B. And that gives us our notes right, uh, right where they need to be. So let's say that our next note was an E. As you can see, it put it right there. But let's say that I wanted this to be the E that was down below. So in that instance, if I wanted it to be the E down below, what I can do is I can move this up and down with the up and down arrows. If I needed to also, I could hit Shift and Up, and that would move me up an octave here. And an octave again. Shift down is going to move me down an octave. You can also do this with the notes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the left arrow, and it's now selected this B. So I can move this B up and down. If I hit Shift and Up, it's going to move it up and down by octaves. So our next note is a dotted half note. And since the note value I've got selected as a quarter note, we need to change this. Now we could use our mouse to go up and select the half note, but there is a shortcut with our number pad. So I'm going to go ahead now and hit six on the number pad, and that gives me a half note. So now we've got the half note, and I'm gonna hit A, but we actually need a dotted half note. I could go up and select the dot and add it onto the note. However, there's a shortcut for this also. On our keyboard, we just hit the period, and that gives us the dotted half note. I'm going to move to the next measure, 
and we've got the right note value, it's an E, except uh, if I hit E right now, it's gonna put it as the wrong E. It's gonna put it uh, an octave below where we need it to be. So what Finale does is it puts this purple note head right here wherever your last note was. So if I wanted to now add an A again, it could put it right up there. And because of that, we actually wanna do this just a little bit differently. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get this here again and I'm all I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up close enough to the E so that when I put E right there, it puts it in the area that we want it to be. And now I can go ahead and keep entering these notes like this. Now I wanna show you just how fast these keystrokes can be. So I'm gonna be silent for just a little bit here and I'm gonna finish this out so you can see how quick it can be with these keystrokes. One other thing I wanted to show you today is how to add harmonies to notes that are already uh, on the page. So we've got our C right here, and in our arrangement, we've got an E that's a sixth below this C. And I could manually enter this in with the mouse again. However, sometimes what happens is that uh, Finale is not sure whether or not you're trying to replace the note or add a new note, and so sometimes it'll replace it for you. So a quicker and easier way to do this is to use the number keys on our main keyboard. If I hit the number three, what Finale is going to do is it's going to put a note a third above whatever note is selected. This is a great way also to add chords. Let's say that I wanna build a root position chord. I know that a root position chord is built in thirds, so what I could do is I could select this note and then hit three and three, and that gives me a root position chord. Or if I knew that I wanted to have a second inversion chord, I could hit four and three. Or if I wanted a first inversion chord, I could hit three and four. And that would give me these different chords really quickly. But I wanna put a note that's below this. The way that you can do that is you hit shift and the interval that you want to put below whatever note is selected. So there I hit shift six, and now we have all of the notes in our right hand entered. Now this is just something that I like to do. I like to get rid of all the extra measures just so that I can kind of have an idea of what we're working with. So to do that, I'm gonna go up to the selection tool. You can either click it with the mouse or you can hit the escape key uh, to be able to get to that tool really quickly. Now I'm going to select this measure here. To select the measure in both staves, we're gonna double click on this. And now I'm going to hit shift and end and that selects everything from where I've selected until the end of the file. And I'm gonna hit delete and that's gonna get rid of all those measures for me. One other thing that we wanna do is we wanna make sure after we've done all this work that we save this. So I'll go ahead and find a nice place to save this file. That's all the time we have for today's video. We'll see you in our next tutorial.